was a not so great neighborhood. I thanked Scribble Hopper for the legendarium. The information in it was great. The only thing that was not so great. That book weighed a ton. I practically broke my tail lifting it. Besides the book, the frog insisted. I need some other supplies. We will find them in a shop that belongs to the cousin or the uncle or the wife or the son or the girlfriend or the barber or my aunt Crokey's plumber. It's called Scarfer's Stealthy Stuff, and it's in the not so great neighborhood. At the edge of enchanted city, he explained. We left in the cold night air. As we walked, I looked around. Squeak! What a nasty place! My whiskers trembled with fright. There were mean-eyed wolves sniffing me hungrily. There were foxes with scruffy fur glaring at me suspiciously. There were owls who tooted gloomily, giving me the chills. There were creepy gnomes carrying mushrooms that looked deadly. There were fairies who looked like witches, ducking down dark alleys. There were bug-eyed bats making faces at. Everyone passing by. There were hidden werewolves howling fiercely. There were ghost knights challenging each other to deadly duels. After about ten trillion five hundred and seventy-nine years. Or okay, maybe just an hour or two. We arrived at a spooky shop with bars on the windows. The sign read, "Scarfers Stealthy Stuff." Scribblehopper pushed me forward, and with my heart pounding, I went through the door. Pounding, 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 pounding.